We will now describe the axial connective tissue. This is a slide from Dr. Heitzman's collection, which shows that in the walls of the bronchi and of the pulmonary arteries, we see thick connective tissue. We do not see similar structures in the walls of the pulmonary veins. Therefore, if there is a thickening of the walls of bronchi or increase in the thickness of the connective tissue centrally located, it represents the axial connective tissue which surrounds and accompanies the major airway and the central pulmonary arteries. Occasionally, we can observe uh, straight uh, lines that radiate uh, from the hyla. They do not uh, branch uh, and they uh, do not uh, taper. Uh, they represent uh, the thickening of the axial connective tissue. In this case, uh, a close-up of the right uh, hylus uh, uh, in a patient who had uh, uh, interstitial uh, pulmonary edema. When... Uh, the walls of a bronchi appear thickened, and this is the result of connective tissue thickening around them. A tramline effect appears, as noted in this patient, again, courtesy of Dr. Heitzman. Dr. Heitzman has described tram lines uh, in patients uh, during a, an acute uh, bronchial asthma attack uh, as seen in the uh, right uh, base uh, of the uh, chest. Standard tomography uh, can elegantly uh, depict uh, the thickened wall of a bronchi. You can see tram line effect uh, in the right uh, base uh, and you can see uh, a uh, bronchus uh, with the wall thickening seen on end. Uh, the reason for these two findings is thickening of the axial connective tissue. 